Well, where I'm standing seems to be at the centre of a corridor of extreme wind which whipped through West Bridgeford at about 7.30 this morning, just as people were getting ready for work. But thankfully, about an hour before these suburban streets would have been thronged with school children going to school. Chimneys collapsed, roof and ridge tiles went flying. Earlier, I talked to Jos Apps, whose chimney collapsed just as he was having breakfast. It got windy and then windy and then much windier and then the noise was terrific and frightening. Like a jet fighter coming past and then we just shouted, got everybody together and moved to uh, the middle of the house for safety. Graham Lyas, his back garden is now in chaos. Two chimneys had disappeared uh, and fallen into the back garden, one going over the the tub out the front here and one going out over the, uh, the rear at the, at the porch. I had a, a, a very heavy table down at the bottom of the garden by the summer house and that heavy table is now in a tree. A few doors down, a shed was uprooted and ended up in a neighbouring garden. Bricks smashed through the roof of a utility room. Meanwhile, a quarter mile away, branches from a large cedar tree blocked another road and took out a pole carrying telephone and internet services. Sarah Chambers told me it sounded like a low-flying plane. She's lost part of her ridge tiles, but says it could have been worse. Oh, it was terrible. It was absolutely terrifying. So if somebody had been under the trees in the road, they would have been killed. Well, the tree removal contractors have been out in force. One of them told me that in 20 years in the job, he's never had to field so many calls in such a short space of time. And the roofers are going to be busy too. I mean, this wind that went through West Bridgeford seems to have lasted only a few seconds, but I think they'll be busy for weeks, maybe months to come. Sally Bowman, BBC East Midlands Today, West Bridgeford.